Well, our gorgeous gourds are finished. The uh, bottle gourds got frosted two days ago and I was hoping they might come back. But we had another frost and now the vine's pretty much like cactus. So we're going to rip the vines out and put our gourds on the driveway to dry and uh, yeah, see what sort of harvest we've got from this lot. So I've been picking gourds for the last four months. So I pick them when they're just fairy, so we cook them in the kitchen. And these are ones that just got too big on the vines that are misplaced, um, <laughs> couldn't find. And yeah, we'll see how many I missed and yeah, send you a video. My poor, poor plant. It was so lovely. But yeah, she needs to come out. So here we go. Right, O Petey, grab, grab a spot. One. Not a bad little harvest for all the stuff I missed. Right, so when I eat my bottle gourds, so you see how this one, I'll try to get a nice close up for you. See how the skin's really, really smooth? And I can only just mark it with my fingernail. That's just edible. It's still got a little bit of fuzz up here, but the skin's still soft enough to eat. But really, you want these see the little hairs on it you can see i rubbed off the hairs when i've picked it and if i dig my nail in my nail actually goes right through that flesh and i can flick out a piece of flesh that one's really good for eating that one's a bit little a bit stung a bit marked by the ground and then this one here that's all the grass seed on it that's just fairy bits the same i can Dig my fingernail in and flick a bit out. So they're the ones that you eat and use in your kitchen. Now I use the same recipes that I would use for zucchini and squash. I use, sorry it fell off, I use for these ones here. See it's even got a drip of sap happening there. But yeah, really, really furry. And I mean that fur just literally rubs off. You can see it was there and then it's not. And you end up with this fluffy stuff on your fingers. Oh, let me focus on my fingers. You end up with this fluffy stuff on your fingers. So yeah, that's what you use in your kitchen. Um, I don't bother peeling these ones when they've got fur on it. Um, so when these ones don't, ha when they have fur on them, I don't bother peeling those. If I can flick out a bit of the flesh with my fingernail easily, that skin's soft enough to eat. If they're like this one, I can mark the skin, but I can't flick out a piece of skin then those ones I just do a light peel like with a potato peeler. So these will go into a zucchini quiche, but it'll be a gourd quiche instead. And I might do some roast gourd as well with some pumpkin that I've got inside. So the sun's running away here. Sorry, the light's gone. I'm rolling my gourds everywhere. But yeah, so I missed probably a good 20 gourds in that patch. And we got about half a dozen eating gourds that the frost, this is a bit of frost damage that you see here. Um, not going to worry me in the kitchen. Won't really worry um, the big ones when they're drying out either. It should be fine. And uh, yeah, the, the bottle gourds. Righto. Found me tree stump. So... That's our little harvest. What are you doing? <laughs> Pity, we compost weeds, not pities. Not funny. How? 
How did you compost yourself? It wasn't as solid as I thought. And I fell in and I hit the back of my leg. <laughs> oh my goodness.